Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Cassandra and today I'm doing a class that was really heavily requested. This is an hour long vinyasa flow practice to improve flexibility. I won't be using any props in this practice so you shouldn't really need one, but if you want, maybe have a block close by just in case. So let's get started. Let's start in the wide legged -like child's pose. Bring the big toes together. Let the knees go as wide as you would like them to. Walk the palms forward and drop the forehead to the floor. We're gonna hold this pose for about a minute or so. Try to relax the shoulders, the chest, the neck. And take deep belly breaths in and out through the nose. Pressing the hips to the heels. Softening the arms. Gently opening up the hips. Take five more breaths in this pose, lengthening the arms. Start to lift the chest, walk the palms back in, inch by inch. Bring your knees back about hip width distance apart or so. Just sitting on your heels, we're gonna interlace the palms, flip them and reach the arms up overhead. Just stretching through the sides of the waist, any little movements that feel good here, maybe going side to side. Lifting up through the knuckles and let's release tabletop pose for cat and cow to open up the spine, warming up the lower back. Palms are underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the gaze, curl tailbone up. And then exhale, chin to chest, round through the upper back. Take a few more, inhale to lift. Exhale to round. Keeping the elbows straight. And let's come back into our neutral tabletop pose. Walk your palms a few inches past your shoulders and then lean the hips forward so you're in your half plank pose. Tailbone is reaching towards the knees. Lift through the chest, and as you exhale, lower all the way down to your belly, nice and slow. Toes are pointing back, let's take three baby cobras. Inhale, chin, chest, and palms lift up, squeeze your shoulder blades. Exhale to lower. Inhale, lift up, press into the tops of the feet. Exhale, set it down. Last one, inhale to rise. Exhale to release. Bring your palms back underneath the shoulders. Press back onto your tabletop pose, so onto hands and knees. Curl the toes under and let's take our first downward facing dog. 
So feel free to walk out the feet and the legs here. Bend the knees generously. Try to get comfortable in this pose. You want your hands to be shoulder width distance apart with your elbows straight. So stretching out through the arms, pressing the chest towards the thighs. Feet are about hip width distance apart or so. Relax the neck, let the head be heavy. And from this downward dog, let's reach our right leg up towards the sky, bend the right knee and open up that hip. Three big circles here with the knee. So pull the knee in towards the chest and then engage the glutes to lift it all the way up and back. Two more times. Keep the elbows straight, neck relaxed. Move with your breath. And let's set that right foot back down. Switch sides, left leg up. Bend the left knee, open that hip. And take three big circles. So bring the left knee in towards the chest on the inhale. Open it up and back on the exhale. Two more. back into your downward dog. Let's bring our hands towards the feet for a ragdoll forward fold. Widen your feet towards the edges of the mat, so wider than your hips. Bend your knees a lot and let the upper body dangle. We wanna start inviting the hamstrings and the lower back to open up a little bit more. Fingertips can stay towards the floor or maybe reach towards opposite elbows, really any variation you'd like here. Bend the knees, let's walk back into our downward facing dog. Realign your feet so they're hip width distance apart. We're gonna extend our right leg up towards the sky, bend the right knee, open up that hip. Come forward into plank pose and cross your right knee over towards the left elbow. So we're drawing a figure eight shape. So I'm bringing the right knee towards the left elbow, then out towards the right, and then lifting it back up into your three-legged dog and rotating that hip. Let's do that two more times. So plank pose, right knee to left elbow, over towards the right, and then finish your figure eight and your three-legged dog. Last one, come to plank pose, lean the chest forward, left elbow, right elbow, lifting back up into your three-legged dog. Straighten the right leg, look past the palms and step that foot forward in between the hands. Lower the left knee down to the mat and reach the arms up for your low lunge. Tailbone reaches down, right knee is bent, chest is lifted. Try to lift out of the lower back here. We don't want to compress the area or cause any pinching or tension. Pressing the hips forward and down. Transitioning into our half splits, let's bring our fingertips to the floor. Straighten your right leg and fold forward. Feel free to keep the right knee bent if the hamstrings are tight. Square off the hips. Let's flex the right foot so the toes are pointing up. Left toes need to be curled under for these last few breaths. You're gonna walk your palms back and you're gonna let the hips drop onto the heels. Point your right toes this time and then fold. Maybe the arms go all the way back. Start to lift the chest. Coming back into our low lunge, bend the right knee. Keep the left palm to the mat. Inhale, right arm reaches up for a twist. 
and then reach your right palm towards the back of the mat for your quad stretch. Catch a hold of your left foot and pull that heel in towards the glutes. Right shoulder is rolling back, so you're maintaining your twist. Breathing deeply into the hips. Feel free to grab a strap here if the hold of the foot isn't working today. Let's release. Look down, palms to the floor. Take your first flow. So curl the back toes under. Inhale to plank pose. Exhale, lower to your belly. Point the toes back so you can lift up to cobra. And then exhale to downward facing dog. Five breaths here, pressing into the heels, lengthening tailbone back, stretching out through the sides of the waist. We're gonna do those same figure eight movements on this side. So reach your left leg up and back, bend the left knee and open up that hip. You're gonna come forward into plank pose and tap your left knee towards the right elbow. So a little bit of a twist and then out towards the left into your three-legged dog to finish that figure eight shape. Two more times. So inhale to plank, left knee towards the right arm, over towards the left. Lift it up and back and circle around. Last one, plank pose, left knee to right arm, over to the left arm. Lift it up and back. Straighten and square the left leg and step it through for your low lunge. Right knee down, arms extend. Tailbone is reaching down, biceps are along the ears. Get the extension through the right hip flexors. Tailbone is reaching down, so you're not creasing in the lower back too much. Just maintain that natural curve. We'll be coming into our half splits, so fingertips go to the floor, straighten the left leg and fold. So stay in this variation first. Feel free to bend the left knee. Try to take this out of the upper body as much as you can. Arms are only there for support. Both hip bones still facing towards the front of your mat. So with your right toes curled under, walk your fingertips even further back and let your hips Drop over that right heel, point your left toes forward and fold a little deeper. Maybe the arms reach all the way back. Coming into our low lunge with a quad stretch, bend into your left knee. Keep your right hand to the floor, inhale, left arm up and then reach the left palm back. Catch a hold of the right foot as you pull that heel in towards the glutes. Lower belly is hugging in and up. Get a nice twist as you open up the chest and lean the left shoulder back a little further, pressing the hips forward and down. Releasing, take your flow. Inhale to plank pose. Exhale, lower to your belly. Lift up into cobra. Exhale to downward facing dog. Lengthening the legs and the arms. Let's reach our right leg up towards the sky. Keep it straight this time. Look forward and bring that right foot in between the palms, warrior two. So back foot parallel to the short edge of your mat, arms extend out. Bend the right knee as you drop the hips down low. So the right knee is gonna wanna cave inwards. You need to squeeze the glutes to help press it open towards the right side of your mat. Drop down a little bit lower. 
pelvis is neutral, so not tipping forward and not over tucking. Tailbone is just reaching down a little bit. Bend into your right knee even more. Let's straighten the right leg for triangle pose. Hips go back, chest is leaning forward. Slide the right hand down the leg, maybe bring the fingertips to the floor to a block or hold onto the shin. Left arm is up. And we're gonna take some arm circles here to open up the shoulders and improve flexibility in the shoulders. So start to reach fingertips towards the front of your mat. Feel that nice stretch into the side of your waist and then roll it all the way down and back up. As you come back up, can you lean the chest back a little bit and open even more? Move with your breath, go at your own pace, take about three more circles. Careful not to tense up the neck. And this is probably my favorite thing to do in triangle pose. It's a really great way to improve flexibility in the side body. And let's start to look down at the floor, bend into your right knee, lift the left heel up and reach your right arm up towards the sky for your runner's lunge with a twist. Pulling the right shoulder back, lifting up. Looking down to the floor, take your full flow this time. Inhale to plank pose. Exhale, chaturanga, lower halfway. Inhale to upward facing dog, hips are off the floor. Exhale to down dog. Reaching and pressing into the heels. Second side, let's extend our left leg up, keep it straight, and then step it forward for warrior two. Right foot parallel to the short edge of your mat. Arms are reaching and extending out, palms are facing down. So this time you need to keep pressing your left knee open. Warrior two is a great way to open up our hips. We have a deep external hip rotation here with the left knee pressing over towards the left side of your mat. Sink down a little deeper. And let's come into our triangle pose. So straighten the left leg, hips are going back, chest is leaning forward. Bring your left fingertips either to the shin or to the floor, right arm up. Feel the extension through both sides of your waist and let's take those arm circles. So as you inhale, reach the right fingertips forward, stretch really long and then roll it down. And then all the way back up and as you come back up, can you lean that right shoulder back and look up a little more? Take three more, go at your own pace. Pressing into both feet evenly. Try not to collapse and round forward. Last one here. And we'll come back up into our triangle pose. Let's look down, bend the left knee. Right hand to the floor for your runner's lunge with the twist. Left arm up. Try to level out your hips here. Maybe the left thigh is parallel to the ground. Take your flow. Inhale to plank pose. Exhale, chaturanga. Cobra or up dog. Exhale to down dog. Pressing into the heels. Let's go back in our warrior two. So inhale, right leg up and then step that foot through in between the palms, back foot parallel to the short edge of your mat, arms are reaching out. Bend the right knee, drop the hips. Reverse your warrior, left palm down, right arm up, stretch the right side of your waist. 
keep bending into your right knee. And then inhale, back to warrior two. Exhale for extended side angle. Maybe bring the right fingertips to the floor, to the outside edge of your right leg. Bicep along the ear as you reach the left fingertips forward. Keep pressing generously into that left foot. This is option one. Option two is to take your bind. So left hand towards the lower back and then maybe the right arm reach underneath, reaches underneath that right thigh, interlacing your fingers, rolling the left shoulder back. Maybe looking up if that's comfortable for the neck. Drop the hips a little bit lower. Release your bind, we're coming all the way back up to warrior two. Let's straighten the right leg, turn the right toes in, hands on your waist, fold forward. Fingertips to the floor, relax the head and the neck. Let's walk our fingertips forward so we can lift the chest up halfway. Turn your heels in, toes out. We're coming into Skandasana. So bend the right knee, keep the left leg straight. Flex the left toes as you drop the hips and move from side to side. So inhale to center, exhale. Left knee bends, right leg is straight. Let's do that one more time. Inhale up, exhale, bend the right knee. Inhale to lift, exhale to bend. Let's go all the way back, over to the right. Find your lunge, so right toes forward, left heel is lifted, plant the left palm down, reach your right arm up, find your twist. So you're either going to stay here or you're gonna transition into your side plank pose, rolling to the outer edge of your left foot snacking the right leg over the left and pressing to lift the hips up, maybe looking up. From your plank pose, let's reach the right leg up towards the sky. Start to bend the right knee and drop the right toes back. Variation of wild thing. Lift the hips, the chest, relax the neck. With control, find your downward facing dog. Stay in your down dog if you'd like or take a vinyasa. Inhale, ripple forward through to your plank pose. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Five breaths here. Second side, reach your left leg up and back. Step it through for warrior two, over on the left. Right foot parallel to the short edge of your mat. Reach the arms out as you bend the left knee. Steady gaze, steady breath. Let's reverse our warrior, right hand down, left arm up. Inhale to warrior two. Extended side angle, left fingertips to the floor, right arm up and over. Bicep are along the ear. Keep pressing the hips down, tailbone reaching towards your back foot. So remember this is option one, feel free to stay here if you'd like. Otherwise, take a bind, right hand to the lower back, left arm underneath your left thigh, clasping, drawing the right shoulder back. Hips are still pressing forward and down, nothing changes in the legs.
Release your bind, press into the feet, back into warrior two. Straighten the left leg, turn the left toes in. Hands on your waist, fold forward. So maybe hold on to the big toes this time with the two piece fingers. As you inhale, lift up halfway, flat back. And then exhale, bend the elbows away from each other as you fold. So sit bones are widening. You're stretching deep into the hamstrings, relaxing the neck so the head can be heavy. Keep pressing the shoulders away from the ears. And let's release the hold of the toes, walk your palms forward, lift the chest up about halfway. Turn your heels and toes out, so skandasana, same thing. This time left knee bends, right leg is straight. Maybe drop a little bit further down. Inhale up, exhale, bend the right knee. Keep the left leg straight. One more cycle. Bending into the right knee, lifting the left toes up. Let's go all the way back to the front of our mat for our lunge. So right hand down, right heel lifts up, left arm reaches up. Either stay here or find your side plank, rolling to the outside edge of your right foot, stacking the left leg over the right and pressing to lift the hips up. Maybe look up. So from the side plank, let's reach our left leg up high. Start to bend that left knee to drop the toes back behind you. Reach the left arm up and over for wild thing. Back into your downward facing dog. Stay here or take a vinyasa, inhaling to plank pose. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. So from this downward dog, let's lift our heels, bend the knees, step or hop both feet forward. Take your halfway lift once you're there. Exhale to fold. Bend the knees a little bit and widen your feet towards the edges of your mat. Grab a hold of the big toes with your two piece fingers. As you inhale, lift up halfway, flat back. And then exhale, bend the elbows away from each other as you fold. So your legs can be straight, but try not to hyperextend or lock your joints. So there is a tiny little micro bend in the knees. If your lower back or your hamstrings are tight, feel free to bend the knees even more. Let's release the hold of the toes, lift up halfway. Turn your heels in, toes out, drop down into Malasana, your yogi squat. So palms come together at the chest, use your elbows to help the knees open up a little bit wider. So this will depend what your flexibility is like. Please feel free to stay here if this is enough of a stretch. If the hips are open and up, you're going to bring your heels together, toes apart. So a much deeper squat. And as you open up the knees, you're gonna fold forward and reach your arms back to grab a hold of the heels and fold. Maybe the forehead comes down towards the floor. Let's release and unwind. Set the hips to the ground. Feet together, knees apart. Let's take our Baddha Konasana fold. So inhale, lift up. Exhale, hinge at the waist to fold. Five breaths here.
Rolling all the way back up. Let's extend our right leg forward. Keep your left foot to the inside of that right thigh. Inhale, arms reach. Exhale, fold. Catch a hold of whatever you can. Five breaths. Release and roll all the way back up. Before we do the other side, start to bend into the right knee, catch a hold of the foot and extend the leg up. Bend your knee as much as you need to. Let's bend the right knee, extend the left leg forward. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold. Release and roll all the way back up. Bend the left knee, catch a hold of the left foot and extend it up. Distribute the weight evenly onto both sit bones so you're not rocking on one side more than the other. Let's release. Bend the knees, so cross the ankles, plant the palms, step back into your downward facing dog. Either stay here or take a vinyasa, inhaling to plank pose. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. From this downward dog, let's reach our right leg up and back. Bend the right knee, open up that hip. Straighten the right leg, look forward and step that right foot in between the palms, warrior one. Back foot at a 45 degree angle, arms extend up. So for this one, you're gonna need to step your right foot a couple inches over towards the right so you're wider than hip width distance apart. Bend into the knees to drop the hips. We're gonna open up the arms until we can interlace our fingers behind the lower back. Draw the shoulders down and away from the ears and lift the chest. See if you can keep the deep bend into your right knee. Palms lifted off the tailbone. Find your back bend here, play with your edge. And let's start to lift up, diving all the way forward to the inside of your right leg. Reach the knuckles up and over. Power up the core to lift all the way back up. Let's bring our hands on our hips. Straighten the right leg and bring your back foot in so your hip width distance apart. You'll probably need to bring your back foot in an inch or two. Coming into pyramid pose, square off your hips and your shoulders facing the front of your mat. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, hinge at the waist to fold. As low as you can get it, maybe the fingertips hold on to the shin, rest on a block, or come to the floor. My left hip is gonna wanna open up quite a bit here, so scoop your left hip forward as you pull the right hip bone back. 
This will definitely make the stretch a lot more intense, so feel free to bend the right knee if you need to. Protect your lower back and protect your joints always. So we never want to be forcing flexibility on our body. Never trying to force our body into a shape it might not be ready to take just yet. Use your breath to get yourself deeper into the pose just by relaxing the chest, relaxing the shoulders. Even here, keeping a tiny little micro bend in the knees. And let's lift up the chest about halfway. Bring your left fingertips underneath the left shoulder. We're gonna take a revolved triangle. Right hand on your hip. Start to draw the right shoulder back as you open up the chest and maybe extend that right arm up. Pull the lower belly in. Start to look down. Release your right fingertips to the floor. Come up into your standing splits. So standing on the right leg, left leg reaches up and back. Take your flow. Both feet back, inhale to plank pose. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale to down dog. Whew, and that right leg should feel a little different from the left. I know my hamstrings feel a lot more opened up after that little flow. So let's go do the second side. Reach your left leg up and back, bend the knee, open up that hip. Let's straighten it, warrior one. So left foot in between the hands, right foot at a 45 degree angle as we lift up with the upper body, arms reach. So you're gonna need to toe heel your left foot a couple inches over towards the left before re-sinking the hips. We're gonna open up the arms nice and wide. Interlace your fingers the more unusual way. So the other thumb on top, find your back bend. So tailbone reaches down, ease your way into this. This is mostly about the upper back. So there should be no pinching or compression in the lower back. Move with your breath. Lifting up and folding down. Diving to the inside of your left leg. Reaching the knuckles up and over to stretch and open the shoulders. Power up the legs and lift back up, hands on your hips. Straighten the left leg and bring that foot back in a little bit and bring your right foot in, just an inch or two. Pull your right hip forward, left hip back. Inhale, lift the chest, exhale, fold. Hinge at the waist. Settle the palms wherever is accessible and comfortable. Feel free to bend the left knee. Remember to respect your body's limits. What happened on one side might not happen on the second, which is perfectly fine. chest up about halfway. Keep your right fingertips down to the floor underneath your shoulder, taking our revolve triangle. So left hand onto your left waist. Start to draw the left shoulder back as you open up the chest. Pull the lower belly in to help with the twist. And then maybe the left arm extends up. Only if that's comfortable. There's already a lot going on in this pose.
look down, left fingertips to the floor, standing splits. Take your vinyasa, step the feet back, inhale, plank, exhale, chaturanga, inhale, upward dog, exhale to your downward facing dog. So let's really open up our hips here. Reach your right leg up, and then step that foot to the outer edge of your right hand. So both palms are to the inside of your right leg, and go ahead and drop the left knee down, so maybe pat it first, we're here for a little while. Lean the chest forward. You're going to lift your right toes off the mat and roll to the outside edge of your right foot. So there's an external rotation through my right hip. Either stay up on your palms or come down onto the forearms. We're gonna hold this pose for about a minute or so. So what's important in these long holds is that we get out of our own way. You might notice that you want to distract yourself or you get really tense. So every few seconds, remind yourself to focus on the breath, soften the shoulders, the upper back and the hips, and breathe a little bit deeper, inviting the right hip to open up a little more. So if you're doing this pose from down on your forearms, keep your legs as they are, but just come back up onto the hands. So we're gonna keep our right leg, nothing changes, but we're gonna take our quad stretch, doing it a little bit differently than we did the first time. So start to bend into your left knee, or you're gonna catch a hold of your left foot with your right palm. So instead of pulling that heel in towards the glutes, I want you to press your foot in towards that right hand so that it lifts your chest up and you find a little bit more of a back bend as the right shoulder pulls back. It should feel a little bit different from the quad stretch we did at the beginning of class. Let's release that foot down, palms to the floor, come into your pigeon pose. So toe heel that right foot all the way over towards the left side of your mat so that you can bring your right knee behind the right wrist and reach the left leg back. Before we fold, we're gonna reach our fingertips back. Maybe grab a hold of your mat here if you need to, so you can lift the chest. Holding this back bend for a few breaths. If you'd like to take it a little further, hands are gonna come at the heart, and then maybe reach up overhead. Bring your hands back to the chest and fold all the way down. Another minute right here.
Let's walk the hands back. We all meet in down dog. Take your time to get there. We've done a lot to open that right hip. So you might wanna take a few hip circles or stretch the right leg back. Just get the blood flowing again. And let's take a vinyasa. Inhale, plank pose. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale to down dog. Second side, reach your left leg up and back. And then step that foot to the outside edge of your left hand. Lower the right knee to the mat. So you want both palms to be to the inside of your left thigh. You're gonna lift your left heel, or sorry, your left toes off the mat and start to roll to the outer edge of your left foot so that you're externally rotating your left thigh. You want your knee to be bent at about a 90 degree angle or so. Either stay on your hands or lower to the forearms. 10 deep breaths here, which is roughly about a minute or so. Using the arms as little as possible. Keep your legs as they are, just come back up onto the hands. We're gonna take that variation of a quad stretch, so keep your left leg as it is, reach back with the left hand, bend the right knee and catch the foot. So instead of pulling that heel in, you're pressing the foot in towards the palm, leaning the heart back, lifting the chest. Hips are still pressing forward and down, so there's a big, bit of a back bend here. Let's release. Making your way into pigeon pose. So toe heel your left foot over towards the right side of your mat until you can bring your left knee behind your left wrist. Reach the right leg back behind you. So level out the pelvis and the hips. You're gonna reach your fingertips back to take your back bend. So back strength is holding you up here. Remember you can grab a hold of the mat to help yourself stay in this shape. Otherwise you can bring your hands to your heart and then maybe reach the arms up overhead. Keep pressing the right hip down. Come back and let's fold forward. 10 breaths on the side.
Take your time. We meet in our downward facing dog. No rush. So it might feel like you have some brand new hips after that really intense sequence. And take a flow if you'd like or leave it out. Inhale to plank. Exhale, lower. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale to downward facing dog. Notice if your heels maybe are a little closer to the mat than they were at the beginning of class. Can you press your chest towards your thighs? Stretch out the arms a little bit longer. And let's set the knees to the ground. Take a seat. We're gonna come into a wide-legged forward fold. So open up the legs. Toes are pointing up. You wanna be able to sit up nice and tall here, so maybe prop yourself up on a block if you feel like you're uh, rounding backwards. You're gonna slide your right hand down your right leg. Inhale, left arm reaches up and over. Keep trying to press that left hip down on the floor. It's pretty hard, it's gonna to wanna to lift up. See if you can keep it plucking down. Maybe catch a hold of your toes and start to look underneath that left shoulder, left arm. Inhale all the way back up. Let's switch sides, left hand down the left leg. Right arm up and over. This time you're pressing your right hip down. Maybe catching the toes and looking underneath your right arm. All the way back up, and let's fold forward and down. Rolling all the way back up. Let's bend the knees, lower all the way down onto your back. So we'll finish with one back bend. And then take a twist to re-level the hips and the lower back. So keep the knees bent, feet flat on the mat. You want your feet to be about hip width distance apart or so. We're either gonna do wheel. So if you're doing wheel pose, you'll need to bring your palms beside the ears. If that's not really a part of your practice, you're just gonna lift up into bridge pose. So choose which one you wanna do today. If you're doing wheel, you need to bring your palms next to the ears. Fingertips are reaching towards the heels. Keep your elbows stacked over the shoulders, so shoulder width distance apart. And we all start off the same way, pressing the feet into the floor, curling tailbone up and lifting the hips. If you'd like to progress further, you're gonna bring the top of your head to the floor. Make sure your elbows are still over the wrists and not splaying out to the sides and maybe power up the arms as you lift up. And then you can realign yourself. Coming up the same way we came. Lowering all the way down, chin to chest. Pull the knees to the chest. Maybe rock a little bit. So we're gonna close with a twist. That's a really great pose to do after doing a deep back bend like this. Bring your arms out into a T. You're gonna lift your hips and shift them over towards the right. Cross your right thigh over your left and drop both knees over to the left. So my collarbones and chest are facing up, twisting from the navel down. Slow down your breath as we start to close our practice.
Let's lift the knees back up to center, uncross the legs, and switch sides. So bring your hips over towards the left, cross your left thigh over your right, and drop the knees down to the right. Breathe deeply into the lower back, and lower belly. And let's lift the knees back to center, uncross the legs, and find Shavasana, our final resting pose. Legs stretch out, palms are facing up. Let yourself settle and get comfortable here. Observe the effects that your practice has had on your body, on your mind. Let go of the need to use effort or strength. And settle into ease. Thank you all so much for doing this practice with me. Please let me know if you'd like more hour long classes by leaving me a comment down below. And if there's any specific theme you'd like me to do, let me know as well. And I'd love to add it to my list of requests. I hope you'll subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much. Namaste.